back again another sample video this one today all about the amazing dilated peoples that's evidence racket iver science and the amazing dj babu i followed babu for a long time from when he was in the beat junkies with shortcut such a great dj really good scratcher inspired me a lot so this today is just showing some of my favourite samples from Dilated Peoples. All the music you're hearing in the background are my own productions. Look me up on any streaming service and you can listen to my music. You can also download my albums from my Bandcamp link. And if you sign up as a member to my channel, you'll get codes for all six of my albums for free and you'll also get access to exclusive members only videos where it is just the samples playing without me speaking over them. I've also got a new service available on Fiverr. If you want me to create any custom instrumentals or acapellas, I can do that from any song at all. So I can remove the vocals or remove the music from any track at all. So let's jump in, let's check what the first track is. Watch the stormtrooper swarm. The death stars more than the devilish dawn. It's where evil and the force manifest their form. I think you might want to rewind that one and check it. Clever, clever sample that one. Ron Grainer, very, very obscure. British composer, wrote a lot of TV themes. He wrote the Doctor Who theme, Steptoe and Son, and that is another theme song that he wrote. Just really, really cleverly used that one. And yeah, great track that, the platform. So let's see what the next one is. William Bell sample there, legend of Stax Records. It's funny, I showed a clip recently of William Bell and it happened to be off the Jules Holland show where he was performing with a band Texas. So the DJ from that, Mark One, commented and went, no way, he says that was my performance because you can see my decks in the background. So yeah, it just made me laugh that. Worst Comes to Worst, what a track that is, featuring a legend guru from Gangstar on it as well. Producer on that, Alchemist. He's produced so many tracks for Dilated Peoples. Seems to be mainly Evidence and Alchemist producing the tracks. And the main hook from that, Worst Comes to Worst, taken from Mob Deep, Survival of the Fittest. Another classic 90s track, that one. Scratched in by the amazing Babu. So, let's see what's next up. Great sample there, actually off Bruce Lee's very first film, The Big Boss. Dilated track produced by Cutmaster Kurt. He's done some great stuff. He's done a lot of stuff for Cool Keith and Dr. Octagon, as well as others like the Beastie Boys, Most Deaf. Really, really good track, that one. Nicely chopped on the guitars at the beginning and just those drums over the top. Really, really good stuff, that. So let's see what the next one is. to show a few clips of Jackass there for the old men track. So Jimmy and Vela, brother and sisters, 
put three albums out. Not very popular for sampling, but there's one track, Hey Boy Over There. Primo sampled that in Capone and Noriega, Invincible. So the Dilator track featuring Kanye and produced by Kanye. Big track that one. Just shows how varied his production is as well. Yeah, works well that one. So let's see what the next one is. Ethos sample there, obscure group from Indiana, which is why I can get away with showing quite a long clip from it. Another great track, that one, produced by Alchemist. And I love in the video that Be Real is there from Cypress Hill, just to mouth the word dilated, even though that is just a sample of another dilated track that he featured on, No Retreat. Yeah, great track, that one. I just love how the sample's been chopped up works really really well that one let's see what the next one is Rosalind and Charles, another obscure gospel group from Baltimore. Another track of theirs off that album that was sampled was God Is, and that's used on the Danger Doom Sofa King remix. I'm a big fan of gospel music in hip hop, some real funky parts of them, some great melodies and vocals especially, and this is a great example of how sampling gospel music can work really, really well. This one produced by Evidence. So let's see what the next track is. Headliners know this year we switch spots. Check it. I spit it for the righteous and the wretched. Ahmad Jamal, absolute legend. Been sampled a huge amount of time. He has influenced hip hop immensely. Absolutely love his music. And the Dilator track, actually produced by Babu. Real nice piano hook there. Just works so well with that track. Yeah, great stuff that one. So let's see what the next one is. Yes I can, yes I can. Most want what they don't have, especially in this game. But on the other side of the rainbow, Those shit's exactly the same. The Barkays, great band, been sampled many, many times. I talked about in one of my previous videos recently about the fatal plane crash where only one member of the band survived. And that dilated track off the Sound Bombing 2. Really, really great mixtape that by Babu and J-Rock from the Beat Junkies. Also featured on that track, Tash, who's out with the Alcoholics. Yeah, nice track that one. Great 90s track too. Let's see what's next up. Good shit, even though that bullshit's cheaper. It's Raphael, Spanish musician and actor, done a huge amount of albums, well over 50 albums. And that dilated track, quite an obscure one, was only actually released as a 12, although it has appeared on some compilation albums. Producer on that, Domingo, he's produced some big, big tracks. 
people like Master Ace, Eminem, Big Pun, Fat Joe, Cool G Rap. Yeah, nice little sample that. Just taking one part of the horns, turning that into a loop. Works really well, I think. And then with Babu doing the scratching over the top. Let's see what the next track is. Getting buried alive. Heard the dirt hit the coffin top. I barely survived. But I broke through my grave, ripped the pine box, sell apart. Al Stewart, who's a Scottish singer songwriter, over 60 albums he's done. Another track of his called Year of the Cat. I've just been listening to that one. Definitely worth looking into sampling that. Loads of piano parts at the beginning of that one. Dilator track produced by DJ Premier. Absolutely brilliant. Just love how he's changed the rhythm of the original sample. And that snare drum he's got over the top really smacks hard. Works so well that. Yeah, great track that one. Really do like it. Let's see what the next one is. David Lindup with African Assignment. Yet another sample off a library music record. I absolutely love these for sampling from. I've done a video quite recently about people that have sampled from these library records. Anyone that didn't see that, Library records were ones that were specifically put out for use as music in TV, film, radio productions, generally instrumental tracks, and there was different versions of the tracks on there, shorter versions, some with just the drums and the bass playing, so they're just really great for sampling from. This one off Bruton Music, there's other big labels, KPM especially, so give them a check if you've not already. Yeah, great use of that sample in the dilated track. Let's check out what the next one is. I punch in, this club of lane, punch out, this piston hurricane. When this is done, things will never be the same. Peace to make a trend, set us along, I'm never tagging words to me and the hero of the dragon. So that was actually their very, very first release, or first official release anyway. There was an album that they did that actually never got a proper release. That was called Imaginary Battle Hymns and Political Poetry. There are bootlegs available of it, but yeah, never actually got a proper release. So that was the first 12 inch, featuring Defari on it, produced by Alchemist. Great use of that little sample, just taking that one small part of the horns. Yeah, nice track that one. Let's see what the next one is. Push my levels to zero without distorting Those tube distorted. compression enhances the message I'm recording Live from California, morning, night to morning Nice sample there from Blue Magic I've sampled them myself Their track Sideshow I've used in one of my own beats Dilate a track of Livis' Lounge Volume 2 Really good compilation put out by Raucous Records I've got it somewhere, I just can't lay my hands on it Really need to sort my vinyl collection out. They're a bit messed up, really. I can never find something when I need to. But yeah, great track, that one. Produced yet again by The Alchemist. Let's see what's next up. Don't you take my kindness for weakness Because I'm gentle We 
usually a calm individual. Armed with accounts, my lawyers and other criminals. Network with army, street wars are critical. Oh. The Soul Children sample there. I think their most famous vocal is actually Jesse Jackson introducing them. But the track, I don't know what this world is coming to, sampled by Rebel Without a Pause by Public Enemy, along with many other people. So that was a live concert at the LA Coliseum. Stacks Records in 1972. They took a load of members of people off their label filled that Coliseum, apparently it was over 110,000 people attended and tickets were $1 each. Wow, that must have been some immense event to attend. Some great, great acts appeared on that one. So Dilate a track off the 2020 album, actually Talib Kweli featured on that track as well. And this one produced by Evidence. So let's see what's next up. <laughs> Snidely Whiplash is the name of that track, named after the cartoon character. Pretty obscure artist that one, not really been sampled before that I know of. Dilated track Annihilation off the Platform album. I think that's probably my favourite of their albums and the vocals off that as well, From The Roots Clones. Another track produced by The Alchemist. So this has just really been a handful of some of my favourite samples from Dilated Peoples. Quite a good mix I think, and it's someone I've not actually ever seen live and I'd really like to. So don't forget, if you sign up as a member to my channel, you can watch videos unedited, just the music playing the samples. You'll also get all six of my albums for free. And if you want to hire me as either a scratch DJ, which I've done for a lot of people now, or to create custom instrumentals or acapellas, I can do that from any music at all. So, as always, thanks for watching.